This is an ABC 36 News update. I'm Doug High. Well, two people were hurt when their car hit a dump truck this morning in Lexington. It was around 8.30 on Old Frankfurt Pike in South Yarlton. The dump truck had stopped with its emergency lights on, and the driver was helping somebody else when a Dodge Stratus approached and crashed into the dump truck. Police say the car burst into flames. The two people in it were pulled out, taken to U.K. hospital. Victims are Orlando Astacchio and Adrian Tellez. Well, Fayette County was rocked as well with wintry weather. The weather was so bad at times that Lexington police worked over 100 accidents just Saturday alone. ABC 36's Mario Anderson dropped by Hamburg Pavilion in Lexington to see how people are trying to get back to normal before the start of the new week. A Louisville-based crew began pre-treating this lot here in the Hamburg Pavilion back on Thursday with salt, then returned on Saturday to clear these once snow-filled parking spaces. We want to make sure that the parking lot's clear, um, that we put ice out front um, for the guests, and uh, making sure that we have items in stock that they need, uh, may need, such as bread and milk and things like that. Fayette County received between four and six inches of snow, leaving many roads covered and driving conditions dangerous. A lot of the subdivision roads haven't been treated yet, uh, so they're going to be extremely slippery. But the important thing is just be careful tonight and slow down and know that you may still have some ice in your path. Lots of snow, lots of ice. and. I guess uh, the kids enjoyed all the snow, but us old fogies, we don't like it too much. (laughs) The Kellys say the winter weather and fear of bad roads kept them from traveling to Tennessee to visit family. But once the snow was cleared from streets and the sun began to shine, the Kellys headed out the door. Uh, Now you have to get out of the house. You're uh, sick of seeing the four walls. You want to get out and enjoy the sunshine. We were drawn to the sunshine. That's really about it, just to get out for a few minutes. Other drivers we spoke to say the weather didn't keep them from getting out and about. I'm I'm one of your typical men. If I want to go out, I'm going out either way, (laughs) regardless whether my wife wants me to or not. (laughs) Temperatures will once again drop over the next few days, so even though the roads may look clear, be sure to look out for slick roads and black ice. Reporting in Lexington, Mario Anderson, ABC 36, your local news source. Well, black powder that remains at the site of a deadly explosion is not dangerous, according to state police and the ATF. On January 11th, a blast in Stanford killed Shannon Corman. Now, Corman was a licensed firearms dealer who was mixing black powder when the explosion occurred. Investigators hope to talk to James Greenwood, a man injured during the blast. He's still in the hospital. Well, that's all the time we have for this ABC 36 News update. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.